let's give the people a uh, market update, an overall market update of uh, not just selling, but also buying. You did just mention that it's a great time to buy, great opportunity to do that. A uh, very strange market in that sense. Uh, election right around the corner. Uh, it's hard to believe, but the holidays right around the corner after that. And so give us a, give us an update where we're at, what you expect the rest of the year. Let, let me say this clearly and distinctively. This is buying season. Woo! That's right. Woo! This is buying season. It, you, if you're a buyer, you should be excited. You should be wooing all over the place. Now, here's the deal. Not that, just wooing. <clears throat> you should be... Ing. Got it. Just to be clear. Uh, here's the thing. It's a hard time to buy. So what the heck are you talking about, Tremani? You just said it's buying season. You just said you should be excited. And now you're telling me it's hard. Yes, all of that is true. But for the next 60 to 90 days, it will be easier than it's been for the last 10 and a half years. Okay, I like that. And, and for probably after that, the next eight or nine more months until probably this time next year. Now, here's the reason. There's some uncertainty in the market right now for sellers. There's a lot of sellers were getting this question, should I wait until after the election? Should I hurry to get this done before the election? Are interest rates gonna go up? I don't know what's going on with the stock market, right? Uh, is COVID gonna crash the market right now? Should I wait till after COVID? Um, should I try to sell real quickly before cold and flu season? These are all very real questions that are being asked right now. Here's what I can tell you. At this moment, interest rates are at the lowest they've ever been for any buyer who's alive right now. That's just the case, unless you have credit issues or some other borrowing challenges, which is true for some people, that's okay. But for right now, you have the best borrowing opportunity of your life for a mortgage, nine out of 10 people, right? Home values are on the rise and at the moment have every indication, factual, market momentum, feeling of local experts that they will continue to rise for the long foreseeable future. My political belief, it doesn't matter who I am for or against, but my belief is that politics, both major parties have a strong, deep-seated, vested interest in a in a you know, booming, healthy residential real estate market. The residential real estate market is one of, if not the primary driver of local economies and local economies add up to make the national economy. It's just kind of the way it works, right? So if people are buying, selling houses and getting new jobs and buying furniture and, you know, decorating houses and paying utility bills and paying property taxes, that's good for the economy. And that's happening in a very big way in our market. So I don't think Donald Trump or Joe Biden or anybody else wants to do anything that would have significant impact in a negative way on the residential market. So therefore, either elected party, regardless of elected party, our local real estate market should continue to be strong. By all means, over the long haul, certain parties make certain decisions and affect people's buying power and employment and things. But for the long foreseeable future, our market should stay really strong. So if you're a seller, your, the big mistake you could make right now is rushing into this with any agent, any time of the year, with any strategy. You're probably going to leave a bunch of money on the table. We're seeing a lot of sellers do that. The big mistake buyers could make is rushing into this without a great strategy, without a great agent, without a great plan. Because in that scenario, you're likely to be in a competitive situation without planning ahead. The only way to win there is to outpay somebody and you're going to end up overpaying with the right agent who can create a custom strategy for your buy side, a custom strategy for your sell side, custom to this market, this time, this situation, you can sell high, higher than has ever been sold and buy well. I'm not gonna say buy lower than has ever been bought. That's not happening. But you can buy strategically. You can buy well, you can borrow well, you can leverage well, and you can get into a great home right now. Go to overunderagent.com if you're ready to do that or go to overunderagent.com if you simply want to start to ask some of those questions to get ready to do that at any point in the next couple of years, overunderagent.com.